Hey, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout. We're checking out what is new at Rod's Hot Rods in Faithful Avenue. If you can believe it, we were coming to you just live this past weekend. It's been a whirlwind. It's been, uh, well, we're a day late because it's someone's birthday yesterday. Whoops. I had some plans, sorry. I had to reschedule everything, but don't worry. I got it covered. I had a pretty awesome meal. It's good. Yep. I didn't. <laughs> We had a great weekend uh, here. Uh, if you didn't see any of the action, you can go back on Facebook and stuff and find uh, some of the videos from the weekend. But we had a blast. We had a great barbecue. Amazing. Tons of people, more than we've ever seen. It was hard to tell. I know there yeah. were way more people, but we had three times the space, so it was kind of spread out more. It was good, though. It was, it was still it was really good. Still slammed, which was great. The weather well, held out good. And it did, yeah. We had a good turnout for that weekend. Yeah, yeah. lots of uh, action on 8th Street. Downtown show was busy. Everything was just hot. Rock the river. Rock the river. Rod Stewart didn't show up. You know things like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a busy weekend, so uh, we're here to bring you what is new here. We got six vehicles that have uh, kind of made their way here. You might have seen glimpses of these in our live videos. A couple of them on the weekend, but we want to take you through them and actually show them to you because we only got kind of like a oh yeah, here's that and this and kind of kept walking, walking yeah. right. So. Want to show you a bit more detail. Now, we're going to bring you hopefully next week a uh, full video on the new electric EV Hummer and show you all what that's about. We'll plan that for next week. Exactly. Yeah. That's uh, that's going to be coming up here shortly as well. Uh, let's uh, let's start with kind of what's in the showroom here. This is kind of Rod's favorite right behind us. Oh. This is like you said, uh, your uh, high school in a box right here, just right? throw some Def Leppard on and good to go. <laughs> this is just like... <laughs> That's, when I sit in this it. car, it brings me back to, well, the 80s, yeah. back in high school. Yeah, and it's funny because it's a, se what's, what year is this? 72. 72, right? That's a good year. That's a good year. That is a good year. However, that's just the year that all this stuff was just old enough everybody in high school could afford one, right? Well, they were not near this nice. <laughs> <by the way. laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were uh, ridden hard, put away wet. But uh, yeah, this is this is uh, the thing. Nice car. Let's go another nice car right around here. Just got this next one in oh, last night. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Look at the color. This is actually a Chip Foose color. A Chip Foose color. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that he has own uh, color swatches, but I guess he does. That's cool. Guess so, you know you've made it when you have your own color swatches. This is a nut and bolt, uh, total restoration. Uh, done about 15 years ago. There's that long? There's maybe about 3,000 kilometers on it in 15 years. Oh, wow. Holy so smoke. It was like a father-son kind of a thing uh, over like a while ago. Really uh, nice right, color combo, too. Right like, down to the bare metal, like everything. If you go online, I got some pictures of this in sitting in bare metal with the engine out. And it's new. The engine was just done, too. So <clears throat> we, we should have started saying this is a 1968 Mustang Coupe. And it's a J-Code. So that means it's a 302 four barrel. Oh, right on. Um, I wasn't sure if it was a real GT or not, so I sent away to get the Marty. Yep. And it is not a GT. It's not a GT. But it's a J-Code 302 four barrel. I got all the options. I'll post a copy of the uh, Marty and then I'll kind of kind of explain all the options. That's pretty cool to have a like a, a non-GT uh, performance Variant, you know what I mean? Yes, well, the, there's only two options. Uh, there's the J-Code and the S-Code to make it a GT in the okay. G68. So um, I wasn't sure if this was, because this had all the cool options. The console, you know. Yeah, like that down there, yeah. And um, it's got the dual exhaust. It's got all the telltale signs that this could have been a GT. Right. So. Uh, I, You know, so many of these uh, two are striped up. Obviously, GT, yeah. you know, gets some, some outside treatment. I kind of like it just... A solid color. Like well, this is a factory white stripe car. Oh, it is. But there's no. They, 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 they left the stripes off, but it is a white stripe car factory. I, I like it without the stripes. How about under the hood? You want to show us that? Yeah. This is actually a factory maroon color too. So it's just a kind of a variant of the original color. It's really a pretty color. It's maroon, but it has a very cherry shine to it. You know what I mean? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Three hundred two. Wow. Yeah, it's this like all new wiring harness, like everything. It's front to back. Everything's done. Yeah, is it ever? Wow. Power steering. Yeah. It's got the nice GT wheels. It's got like all the stuff. I was pretty... And the fog lights in the front. Um, well, somebody stuck GT wheels on it. Well, the fog lights, that's only GT. Your dual exhaust out the back with the balance, that's only in the GT. It's got the right motor to be a GT. And so, some GT badging. That's a very, very nice car. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. They're like kind of, uh, you know... What's up here in the front is, is 
pretty sweet no matter way, which way you turn it. Do you have them both because it's the 65 6 variant and this is the 6 7, sorry, the 7 8, and so many differences in these cars. Yeah. You can really see when they're when they're side by side. Side by side, yeah. You get you get you know dashboard, interior, you know, and then of course the, front the, the nose, yeah. yeah. The the change from sort of that slant back on the that to the way that even the front of yeah. this is shaped. You know, you when, see it all. The way the hood's kind of coming out, and they even did that more in '69 and '70. This even protruded even more. Scoops even more. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it's very almost very flat on the early earlier ones. Remember that we're doing that 1970 Mach One right now. Oh, yeah. So. Maybe we'll have to like put all three of them side by side. That'd be fun. Well, we won't have the moment. This by that time. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, that's right. These will these will be long gone before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that what happens. are you thinking? Man? Yeah. Okay, we're going to the back showroom to see you know, what else is new back here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at that yellow thing. We got to talk about. We got to talk about something over there. Yeah, in a little bit here. Um, we're gonna kind of swing over to my right here because this was a car that we just walked by earlier. Yeah, last weekend, but yep. look at this. I love the color. Yeah, you know what? The color works. We got the T-roofs off now and it, uh, the T-tops, and it's it's a nice car, actually. It's uh, paint bodies was just done and very nice. All like the rubbers and stuff is all brand new around the whole thing. Um, it's uh, It sounds good. It runs good. It's, it's got a good, good look. looking car. I had all the black trim. I remember having slot track cars, a bunch of these, th this body, exactly. Uh, when I was a kid. But you know what I actually kind of dig is this color combination where yep. you get this kind of gold in between the, the velour with the black and the gray. I don't know, for some reason, it works. I think that really works. Yeah, it does. I think you it You know, works. the gold and the gray kind of sort of go with each other. I think it's neat. Factory cassette players. Oh, the cassette. Cool. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, I like it. It's uh it's a very handsome car. It is. It really is. By the is. way, back in the day, we were talking about those little cars. We called them dinky cars back then. Dinky cars. The dinky slot cars. track cars, like the ones with the little like the trigger. The, no, I'm talking about the trigger, oh. the electric trigger gun cars that were on the slot track. They were like, ours were like bigger ones. Though. Oh, but mine were these little yeah. hot wheel size. AFX track was the one I had. Mm. Yeah, and it was, it was a vintage track when I got it, but it was the little guys. And they even had little lights in them like with the headlights would really? would light up and the faster you went the brighter the headlights got hmm. yeah they were they're pretty cool i had one of these just like this anyways um i digress this is a pretty cool firebird i think it's great the way it is i actually usually like, don't care much for black wheels but with like the blacked out trim and the gray it works i think it kind of works yeah. you know this, you gotta see this in person this one because it uh like my son's truck is the same color as this Yes. His new Ford half ton. Our, it's like a destroyer gray or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, our battleship gray. Our call our our new sounds lame, but our new Honda Passport is that color. And it's called Sonic Gray. So same idea. That's kind of a hot rod. Yeah. Well, hey, zero to sixty in six point five seconds is not a slouch for an old big yeah. old SUV. That's only twice as slow as the Hummer. I know. <laughs> and only a quarter of the cost. Can you imagine? <laughs> Look at this. We got a lowered okay. truck in here. This is the same truck we were looked at, but uh, we lowered it. Yeah, that looks really good. I got the front we're going to get down, I'm hoping a little bit more, but it uh, it looks like, if you remember what it looked like prior, it looks yeah, way different. It does, it really. You the actually back sits like perfect. The front's got to go down another yeah, inch or two. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking that. Like, yeah, for a lowered truck, we could we could just get a little more attitude well, there. Well, it's got to have a bigger tire in the front for starters. Oh, yeah. And then bring it down. This is a cool truck. Wish we had time to do the striping on this Saturday, but yeah, the was, guys did such a good job on the other 52 yep. Mater truck that... Uh, didn't have time for this one. We will check out the Mater truck at the 52 in a second and see mm -hmm. what uh, the progress they made uh, on that as well. But a uh, little lowering on this, which is great. Uh, we're gonna go real low to this next one. This is one, I was this is, I was driving this one today. Look at this, it's a Viper SRT 10 right there. So we got a V10 just like the rest of them. So this little uh, hat kind of comes off, doesn't it? Yep, and the back window comes out. Oh yeah, okay. And so if you want to leave this at home, um, you can, and there's a soft top you can put in the trunk. So if you get caught in the rain, you can put the soft top on. So the later, this is a 1999. So in this era of the SRT10, it actually had like air conditioning, it had roll up windows. It's like a, you can, uh, it's a more regular car. A usable, more usable. Usable, like the, like the earlier ones are 
there were like no windows at all. No. And yeah. You had to snap in a plastic piece and they weren't that good. There's a kind of a neat, I'm doing it the wrong hand because I'm using my right hand to shoot the video, but you put your fingers behind there, little button to release that. I always get a kick out of these. Look at how wide the door sills are. That's the other change now, 1999. They went from the side exhaust, like most people are seeing from the- from the Oh yeah, room, right there, right there. Right to the uh, dual exit on the rear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If I, if I dare you to, can you open the hood on this? Do we know how? Uh, I haven't done it for a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to this one, and maybe Darn. we'll show it next week. I wanted to see it, but then it's okay. Um, yeah, look at, holy, that's a subwoofer. Yep. Right there, next to your ear balls. There's wow. a nice little stereo, it's kind of mostly hidden. They, you know, that doesn't jump out at you, but it's a nice stereo in here. Wow. That's, that's the only modification. Everything else is stock, all the running gear, the, the engine, the exhaust, everything's stock. Right amount of pedals down there. It's only got 45,000 kilometers. That's it. It's weird that when, you, when you're sitting in this car, the pedals are offset to the left. <laughs> they are. Really? Like, like when you're, so when you first get in and you think you, you're pushing the clutch or pushing the brake? When you're pushing the brake, you're pushing the I dash. think it's because the transmission tunnel is so big yeah. in this, So when you're right? sitting there, you gotta shift your body a little bit and your pedals are over here. It's, it's the weirdest thing. It, I actually gotta say it smells wonderful. Like delicious leather inside of this thing. It's Just really, really nice. Very nice car. Yeah, it's super cool. Wow. Um, yeah, and it goes down, it sounds... Brembo brakes, look at the tires. Holy. It sounds uh, like something you've never heard before with that, with the odd number of cylinders, with the V10. With the 10, yep. And it sounds really kind of, I think it sounds kind of cool. Yep. Yeah, but super wicked. I think it's great. I'm a big fan of Vipers. I've had a, I've had a few of them and I, I like them. I was on a trip to BC this summer and I couldn't believe how many I saw There's a lot in some BC. on the roads. They got better roads there though. Well, yeah, no doubt. But I was just shocked that I saw as many as I did. Not just like this, even original ones going around. Yeah. I, you know, you almost never see a Viper. Like, you see one and they're like, holy crap, look at that. But I, it was like that, like every couple hours was yeah. a holy crap, look at that. See, in town, it's almost like Lamborghinis are almost getting to the point where they're almost commonplace now. You know, like there's, there's quite a few of them in town. Uh, there's not that many Vipers around. No. Nope. So when you go, when, you, when you're driving this thing somewhere or you park to get fuel, whatever, you're drawing a crowd everywhere that you go with this Well, thing. And, and when you really actually stand by it, when you, when you see the proportions of how it actually looks in person, you know, it's like almost like a big shoe, it's sort of big here and actually gets smaller, narrower, shorter yeah. as you get to the cowl. You know, it's pretty wild in proportion. When we learn how to open the hood, then it'll be kind of cool. <laughs> you look at how big the back tires are, they're massive. Okay, we'll go back here one more time. And it's stock, that's a stock size tire. I gotta get down on my hands and knees for that one. Whoa, yeah, look at that. Holy mackerel. Huge. Yeah, quite the, quite She's the car. huge. Where are we going to next? Uh, other side, I guess. Other side. Passing we moved stuff. a bunch of stuff around today. We had, uh, Move one into the showroom, a new one. So we moved a bunch of stuff around. Change it up. Yep. Got snake bite still. That's rattlesnake. right. Rattlesnake right here. I like it. Um, hey, that's a big pink thing right in front of us. Let's go with that. Okay. Because that's already in my camera view. Look at this. So we already seen it last week briefly. 2010 Challenger. Now this is the SRT. Now for people that want to know what the there's your regular six cylinder Challenger. Yep. There's your RT, which will have your Hemi. V8. There's your SRT, which is the performance version. SRT8, yep. And then above this is the Hellcat. And then above that is the Demon. Well, they only made it for one year. Okay, so, fair enough. Well, there's a new Last Chance Demon, uh, 177, that's, right. uh, that came out too. But that's the one everybody's really going nuts for, right? Well, you can't buy them. Either. No, exactly. Uh, I did notice something on this. This is cool. Look at the cream colored leather with a matching Furious Fuchsia. Is that what this is called? Yeah. Well, look at the little badger. This I was just coming to look at that. Number 69 of 400. There's only 400 made. But what a good, uh, what a good uh, number as well. 69. Why do you say that? I don't know. Just... Uh, it's one got, of my favorite numbers. It's got the right number, I think. That's 19, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Look at look at this thing. It's in a phenomenal condition. Out in the sun, though, this thing just dances. It's, like yeah, it glitters. in it. Oh, it's it just, just glitters, right? 
I like it's the wheels, Brembo brakes, cool got interior. Low kilometers. It's got aftermarket exhaust, which sounds really yeah, good. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, really good. Yeah, and if you didn't know this, by the way, yeah, it's a six speed as well, right? Which so. is cool because with the new ones, with our new Hellcat that we have ordered, yep. you cannot order a standard. It's not even available. We were talking, you and I were talking about that yeah. off the camera about should you order an automatic or a manual? I know, I thought there was an option. So when I went to place the order, I thought about ordering the standard, but there was no, you couldn't check a box. Nothing. No. Automatic only. Those guys. The new Corvette, same way, automatic only. What a bunch of guys. Jeez. Yeah. Well, here it is. You want a manual, uh, get one in Furious Fuchsia. This is wickedly cool. I think it's a great color. Uh, we, which way you want to go? I don't, you, well. Ah, let's go over here. Okay. There's a sold sign on it. One, one Chrysler product to another. So we got this one in. We're, we have a few right now in that price range where it's affordable to get into the hobby. Yep. And it's still a nice car that you can go to Cars and Coffee, you can show and shine it. Um, you can be proud to have it, but it's, it's at the level where you can get into the hobby. So. This one is, and somebody has? Yes, they're picking it up, they're driving it home tomorrow. Exactly. And this is 1974 Plymouth Valiant Scamp. Hard top. Yes. Two-door hard top. Bucket seats, white. Mm hmm It's a 318. But when they did the car, like in the trunk is all painted yellow, underneath the hood's all yellow. So it was all, it was all done like a Mopar should be. Nice wheels, sounds really good. It's actually, this thing scoots pretty good. I wonder if you can get banana split as a personalized plate. Because that would be my uh, that'd be my choice for this thing. Do you stay up at night and go on the site and just... I have at times. Yeah, I have too, actually. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, I can't believe that's available. <laughs> There's no way they'd let me have that one. But. Yeah, banana split would be good for this one, though. Ooh, yeah, and you do some splitting out of here pretty quick with this under here. Yeah, very like, nice, well, nice. as Darby says, it scoots pretty good. Scoots pretty good, splits pretty well. But for... You know, an entry level car, you would think this would all be painted black and, you know, cheaped out, but no, it was all, yeah, it was all done. It's well painted. Yeah. The paint job is really nice, actually, on it. You know, there's definitely some vintage parts on it still, uh, but there's some stuff that makes it pretty darn special, yeah. too. So, you'd be, you'd be proud to show and shine it. And yep, that's fun. AW, get a blizzard and. Or a banana know. split? No, blizzard. Peanut butter cup. Peanut, but that's it? That's the only one I've ever had. You've never tried anything else? Nope, that's the only one I've ever had. You're like my wife. I go to, we got a DQ, what do you want? She wants Same a thing. score blizzard. You yeah. want to try anything else? No, no, never. You know why? I want a score blizzard. You know why? Because you'll never be disappointed. That's exactly what she says. When we go to our favorite Vietnamese place to get our noodle bowl, for 20 some years I've ordered the same bowl. I'd never vary it from it. Because you know what? Every time I'm satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and your wife are probably for having so like, many different cars i can't believe you ordered the same noodle bowl that's crazy from our own pizza place i order the same pizza every time too do you really yep you make a hundred different kinds of pizza i order the same one <laughs> <laughs> i'm boring <laughs> hey this isn't boring look at this look at this cool stuff gas hole i love it so this is the work done by our two pinstripers that were here this last weekend yeah seasick uh he did the back he did yep on the back of the cab and the gas hole and they did the dash. That's all seasick. Well, that's, that's this. But uh, partnered up was- uh, Too Tall. Too Tall, who well, they, they shared. Oh yeah, here we good. There's the signatures. And so Too Tall did the hood and the front fenders. So they and kind of did a- They shared, they shared their paint. paint. So did their own styles, which are still both pinstriping did and they cool. they share their paint too? Yeah, yeah, it's the same color. Well, it looks like the same color. But yeah, but it's more than just looks like the same color. It right? is the same. It is the same color. From the same... From the same bottle. From oh. the same mix of paint, but they... The little did, Dixie cup is the same. Yeah, hmm. exactly. I did not know that. Yep. Uh, but they did their own take with just different styles, but with the same color so the whole truck would match. Okay, some changes here. Look at this. We took off the... Uh, I gotta look at that first, sorry. Sorry. All we right. took off the ugly uh, Kenworth visor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just flopped on the wind like when you go on the highway. <laughs> so we actually have a Fulton visor sitting in the back. That's the that's an original Fulton visor. Ooh, look at that. For this truck, we're gonna cool. mount that on here. That'll look great. It's, that's the same visor as Mater's got, like yep. my shop truck. Yep. And you didn't notice how low it is? Oh yeah, look at that. It's like low. It is low. We lowered it like five or six inches. Ooh, it's good. 
And this is an S10 chassis, right? So the problem with the S10 chassis, they're so narrow. So in order to get a, a tire or like a wheel in there, most people use a big, huge spacer to try and space the wheels out. Yep. Because it's a narrow track. I happen to have these wheels at home and I can't remember what project they were from, but they're a super deep offset wheel. Um, yeah, look at how look at how di dished in that is. That's only like an eight inch wheel, but it's dished in so much it looks like a pro street wheel. You can, you could like, yeah, that's crazy. But now those wheels are on there with no spacers. So there's no safety problem. And it's perfect. It's perfect. It's like, it don't rub, but she's, I can't even get my finger in between that's, there. That's, that's how perfect it is. You know, it's perfect when you can't get your finger in. <laughs> We're gonna leave oh. that. We're gonna leave that phrase right where that is. Okay. <laughs> the front, the same thing. It's a seven inch, but it looks like an eight or nine inch wheel yeah. on there. But yeah, it um, looks good. But it's, there's no spacers on that. It's nice. But like you got enough room to turn, tucked in enough, which is great. I know the guys always bug me because I always want stuff lower. This thing's got to come down about an inch on the front. <laughs> but you know, put the bumper on the front. Yeah, that'll be a little more weight. Yep. And uh, the visor and stuff. So we'll see how it sits. It'll kind of. You find his place yep. the more you drive it, so. Yep, cool. But uh, I like this one, love it. Very nice. What else we gotta look at? Is that it for in here? I think that's it for that's here. That's it. We've got other stuff that's around. Well, we're talking about doing our feature on the Hummer. Um, oh, our 41 Ford ragtop. You've never even seen it before. No, I'm not. That's well, with I've all the flames. It, I've seen it like without an interior. Okay, so there's no interior in it. And it's done, we're gonna pick it up tomorrow morning. Awesome. It's an interior, I showed you a picture of it. Oh, it, it is. This is an Art Deco 40s car with now an Art Deco red leather interior to match. So that'll be our f one of our features for next week, guaranteed. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, our 52 panel, the 53 panel we've been working on is in the back with the LS swap. It's just mm -hmm. about done. Mm -hmm. You pop it, you can see the LS and everything in there now. Um, we got a cool 03 Sonoma we just got in. We'll show that next week. It's lowered. Oh, yeah. 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 Regular cab, short box, lowered truck. Um, got a cool 06 Magnum. People remember what Magnums are? It's like a station wagon. Yeah. But it's got a Chrysler 300 front on it. Custom paint by Owen Gencart out of yeah, uh, well, Gencart, sorry, out of uh, Rosetown. And custom bodywork because you never got a Magnum. It was a Dodge product. And now we got a Chrysler 300C yeah, front end. And it's a hammy car, leather, sunroof. It's a show car, basically. Yeah, it's a cool show car. And we got to talk about our taxi coming. I'm so excited. I know. I know why. Like a 69 actual Manhattan checker taxi. Yep. And I, I just found out um, all the paperwork is with the car, right from the like the bill of sale, the ordering sheets, the no right right down to the original pamphlets where you could order the driver's uniform when you order the car. It's unheard of to have all this kind of uh, documentation with this car. No kidding. And it's so original, no rust. It's been in dry storage for thirty years. So we're talking about a Checker Marathon real. Manhattan. Served time in New York Manhattan taxi. A Manhattan checker taxi. Yeah. The, from New York originally. It's the same ones you, if you watch the old, like Ghostbusters, the old movies. Yeah. That's the cab in the movies. Exactly. This is the real thing though. It's like the TV show Taxi. Yeah. Danny DeVito and the rest of the gang. That's, that's yeah. what we got. And it's coming. So we got to talk about what are we going to do? Gonna keep it stock? Are we going to do custom interior? Are we going to do Air Ride and LS, big wheels? I think we're gonna leave the paint alone though, because it's still the original. On yeah, it. with the check, with the white and yeah, and uh, black has check, all the, like, checker. The fares on it from back in the yeah, day. No, yeah, no, that that's gonna stay. But we yeah. got we got ideas kind of percolating oh. that we're not quite sure which way this is gonna go yet, It'll right? Be cool. Be about two weeks for that to come. Okay, I'm excited um, for that. We got the next, uh, so 96 SVT coming too, at the same mm -hmm. time as the mm -hmm. taxi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our 71 that we looked at last week, it's getting picked up tomorrow morning. It's out the back door, but we've kind of briefly seen it last week. That green one. Yes. Lowered. And, our, and the other one we'll have done is the 81K 10 4x4, the red one we briefly seen too. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of stuff that's coming in or stuff that I'm missing that that's even over there, but uh, lots coming, lots here. Yep. See something you like, rodshotrods.ca. Check out all the pictures, pricing, details, all the juicy stuff is there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, follow along. We'll bring you new what's new every week and we appreciate you viewing and watching. We'll catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.